Well, I met Dr. Furchtenbaum 20 years ago in Munich, Germany at Word of Life. And I heard him teach Israelology, which happened to be an incredible course. And I said to myself, I need to get more of this. This is amazing teaching. It's as if God is opening up the scriptures and explaining them. Not that Dr. Furchtenbaum is God, but he has this background, the Jewish background, and it was fascinating. And I said, I need to get more of this. And in a side sentence, he said something about Camp Shoshana. And I immediately went home and signed up for three weeks of camp that same summer of 1996. And I came and I saw it and I fell in love with it. It's a beautiful place. Very good. And uh, tell, tell us a little bit about your role in the ministry now. Um, four years ago, I was privileged to start doing some translation work for our branch in Germany. And at the same time, the editor of the magazine, she asked uh, for help. Uh, she needed a copy editor. And Arnold told me about it. And um, we started working together. And then a year later, um, they realized they need someone to take care of the books. And so they asked me to come on. And I came on as book editor. And it has been a an incredible blessing. I produced many, um, I had the privilege of producing many books ever since. Area Ministries was founded to evangelize the Jewish people and to disciple Jewish and Gentile believers. And Area Ministries has been very faithful in pursuing this goal. There are different branches we have worldwide, especially in Israel. The branches are right in the heart of the Jewish people, of the chosen people. Um, but uh, all over the world, we have representatives who go from door to door, do street evangelism, all those things that you do to reach the Jewish people. Whenever I meet uh, a Jewish neighbor, if I ever come across someone, uh, you know, seek out someone who is Jewish, I will share the gospel. And um, the ministry has certain people who are actually gifted and called by God to evangelize, um, and they use them. Discipleship means several things. We have a magazine that's chock full of fantastic articles that teach the people. We do have the books that um, are full of wonderful teaching that you would also get in Kem Shoshana uh, on a, you know, um, uh, in a lecture hall basis. Uh, you can read the books as well. And the third thing is um, that we have manuscripts that people can get partially free online um, or they can buy them. So we have a lot of material to choose from to disciple people, but in Kem Shoshana particularly, you have classes for adults and for children. And I had the privilege of helping with the children for a long time now. And that has been an incredible blessing to disciple those young kids who come from churches, from all denominations, from all over the world, and they come to Kem Shoshana and they are hungry. They want to learn and that is an incredible blessing. So we pour everything we have, everything we learned ourselves, we pour into those kids to try to make them disciples. And I have not met more studious people than those kids that come into, you know, that come through the doors. It's incredible. They are really hungry for the word of God. So they are definitely not a distraction. They are a blessing. Well, I myself was able to bring, bring my children. My husband and I, we met at Kem Shoshana, and we, from the very beginning, we wanted to, our kids to grow up here. And so we have been blessed to bring the kids for 16 years now. Um, so we have a 16-year-old and a 14-year-old, and we were able to see them grow up in Kem Shoshana. What they do is they go to class, just like the adults, um, for four hours a day. Um, they learn very similar material as the adults. And then we have something we call rec time, where we go outside and, and play volleyball, soccer ball, um, capture the flag, those kind of fun things for kids. Team building, we have team building games, those kind of things. And um, once a week, we actually meet at the beach, and we have a bonfire, we sing songs, we share, we have someone who comes and shares a testimony. Uh, Friday evening, we have um, movie night, so we, we offer them a fairly wide variety of activities 
In the afternoon, they go swimming in the lake. My boys always enjoyed that. There's a little sand, sandy beach. They can build castles and you know, make holes and cover themselves with sand and stuff like that. There is, you can go bike riding. There's a horse ranch not too far away. You can go horseback riding. You can go mountain climbing. Some beautiful things here. Shabbat is our most formal dinner. We get treated with beautiful food. Um, we had salmon, we have lamb, we have steak tonight. Tonight is a steak night. And during that very, very festive dinner, uh, the children have a chance to share. So they memorize scriptures throughout the week and on Shabbat they get to present it, which I, I find very lovely. And the kids are eager to do it. They show what they have learned. Well, in my position as editor-in-chief, I had, um, the Lord has provided many, many helpers who are proofreading, copy editing, um, translating. We have translator, translators all over the world. Um, the most recent acquisition was someone in um, Cambodia who is translating our material into the Khmer language. Who would have known? You know, uh, so those are beautiful things. Um, so uh, we are always looking for translators. We are happy for anyone who wants to proofread. But also at Camp Shoshana, you know, we have had great privilege to have so many different teachers come and pour into those children. Um, they volunteer their time and they take the material that Dr. Furchtenbaum provides and turn it into something the kids can benefit from. Why do I do what I do? Because the Lord has allowed me, and there again I'm talking about two different positions. When I start working on the books, I disappear into a world where there is no pain and there is no suffering. And there is peace and there is love, God's love, shown through his word. And when I get to edit those books, I'm in a different world. And that is for my great benefit and blessing. Um, why do I pour into the children? Because that is the next generation. They are hungry. They want to know. It, they are not being fed proper, proper, you know, Ezekiel, <laughs> Isaiah, those really important books of the Bible. And so why do I pour into them? Because they are the next generation that has to carry on our, our teaching. And the Lord has commanded us to do that. And so I am following his call. You might have already heard this from many other people, but Kim Shoshana for me is the home away from heaven. It's the, it's, it's the closest you can get to heaven simply because there are people from all over the world who come together with the same vision, with the same love for the word of God, they want to study, they want to learn, and sitting at dinner with someone from Liberia or from Hungary or from China, and they love the Lord with that same passion, they want to study the Word with the same passion, that is just so absolutely beautiful. And so it is a, it's a peaceful place, and I would recommend to anyone that they should come and, and enjoy. I want to invite you to take a look at our website, revelationstvseries.org. It's produced by Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ.